Here is the Magnavox television that's quite special to me for a couple of reasons and one of them being that it has a D-Ghost button on the back so I'll show that in a moment it's quite heavy for, for its size it's really small but pretty heavy it's a Magnavox Magnavox model RK3955AL02 I don't know if it's the same model as the one uh, the Sirius man found at a, a thrift store but aesthetically it's uh, identical but anyway here's the Deagles button it's right there pretty weird <laughs> Deagle's button on a TV. There it is. 12 volts input. V-hold, external speaker. Yeah, it's quite a weird television, but really the weirdest thing is the Deagle's button. Uh, so, uh, yeah. It was manufactured in August 1990. I guess I'm gonna try it, see if it turns on or not. It's quite temper temperamental though. It, it works when it wants to. And yeah, this TV, even though it's... Even though it's really small, it like weighs a ton. It's pretty weird. Yeah, this thing weighs a ton, even though it's so small, <laughs> I don't understand it. Hopefully there's electricity in those outlets. I think there is. Alright, so let's see what happens. So looks like it works this time. Yep. Of course there's nothing on TV nowadays. And I'll push the Digos button on the back and see what it does. If I can reach it. Let's see. Um, it doesn't do much, but that's expected. It's probably really small. I it doesn't show up on the camera, but when I press it, it makes uh, black lines appear on the screen. So yeah, looks like it's working, but you know, uh, without a, a picture, it's hard to tell. But so yeah, that's it about that's it for this TV.